Republicans on Capitol Hill say they need to band together if they want to win back the majority in the House and the Senate. And they say that anyone in the party who strays from those goals shouldn't be in charge. Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney, the third most powerful Republican in the House, is on the verge of losing her leadership post. Republicans are almost completely unified in a single mission to oppose the radical, dangerous Biden agenda. Indiana Republican Congressman Jim Banks said on Fox News Sunday that Cheney, who is the GOP conference chairwoman, isn't on the same page as the rest of the party. Any leader who's not focused on that at this point needs to be replaced. Cheney was one of 10 Republicans who voted to impeach former President Trump in January. House Republicans say her ongoing criticism of Trump is a distraction, making her unfit to lead. I've called on Liz Cheney to rejoin the Republican team and help us go out and win the majority in the midterm election. But Louisiana Republican Senator Bill Cassidy said on Meet the Press that Republicans need Cheney to win in November. For us to win in 2022 and 2024, Four, we need everybody. We need those who feel as Liz. We need those who feel as Lindsay. And South Carolina Democrat James Clyburn said on CNN's State of the Union that kicking Cheney out of leadership shows Republicans are focused on the wrong things. This whole thing that everybody is, ought to be marching in lockstep, that is what leads people to destruction. Lawmakers are scheduled to return to Washington on Tuesday. The vote is scheduled to take place Wednesday morning. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicky. Back to you.